Let me just read this. I haven't fully finished watching this video, but it's talking about Freemasonry and celebs using occult symbolism. Uh, amongst other things, I haven't, I've only watched maybe the one hour or something. Uh, but it's so interesting. The cult might be using celebrities to promote their hidden occult message. I don't think these celebrities know what they are doing and or how they are being used by this cult. Do celebrities have to be, do they have to sign a contract formal or in, informal are they pressured into promoting these occult symbolism and only if they comply do they get uh, promoted by the cult the cult is following a religion lucifer and the angel of light lucifer is opposed to christ who represents balance the divine within Steiner, Rudolf Steiner's Ahriman represents pure base matter opposed to soul and spirit. I haven't read Rudolf Steiner, but I saw a video where they were talking about Steiner's view of Ahriman, Lucifer, and Christ. Like Lucifer is like, if you think of people who are very like, uh, Think of the Nazi view of a utopian society. The Nazis would consider Germans to be like pure blood and they will have a very positive view of German people. And some, so this is a Luciferianism is like, it's opposed to it's very spiritual, you know, think of think of like people who promote a very uh, positive, but extremely like they hate, uh, they have an, like some kind of a, they are like the extreme opposite of the other. So Lucifer is like an extreme of the good so-called. And Araman is the opposite, which is like base matter, uh, more, uh, you know, like reptilian. <laughs> uh, Araman can represent reptilian kind of way of thinking. Uh, scientific materialism, Lucifer is like very soul and the, 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 the purity of spirit. And then Christ is sort of like in the middle. Uh, that's how I understood it. Maybe they do the cult. Maybe they do believe they are descendants of Cain. They are like aliens or fallen angels. We sort of mentioned in this. We're talking about like uh, something about the Temple of Baal, the Ark of Baal, and it's a uh, like like he says it it doesn't matter if the religion is true the cult believes they are like descendants of cain or descendants of the elohim or the fallen angels they think they're like part of the, this bloodline type thing i am not sure if the cult believes in this maybe they do does the cult believe that they are descendants of these fallen angels or aliens do they really believe in it? Or it could be a con imposed on their followers and naive celebrities who may be just imitating it. 
What do they really believe? What does the cult really believe? And what are their true intentions? Are they really waiting for the Elohim to come back? Or is that just a ruse and all they want is power and control? Money, fame, fortune, the usual stuff. Or is there some deeper meaning to their actions? Uh, I don't believe in Jesus or in the sense that I don't believe Jesus is coming back to save us. It's blasphemous to say that, according to the Bible, this is an unforgivable sin. Well, I'm just being honest. I can't fake belief. But I am going to keep an open mind. I don't know the truth. I'm still searching. I think Jesus was a real person, and Jesus may have... Some people have said Jesus is like a hybrid. He could have been a hybrid of a human... E.T. kind of hybrid and he was like trying to tell people uh, you know th there's a lot of uh, history I, I don't think we all know what, what happened during that time maybe we're not told the truth maybe it was maybe Jesus was working for one faction of the Elohim you know there could be different factions and he was like trying to tell people hey stop worshipping these guys these guys aren't gods the divine is within you because you know we have a soul and consciousness and things like that maybe that's what he was doing this idea of opening up portals and having demonic entities enter our realm might have happened with the miami aliens phenomenon earlier this year this is a video where they were at this time stamp i think they were talking about portals and how nasa was um in the JPL and Ch Jack Parsons and uh, you know this might be a real thing I think this stuff might be true even though I don't understand it it might be supernatural uh, what I s no I think consciousness is technology uh, it's a form of communication. Consciousness is a technology that's uh, communicate. Communicate directly using thoughts. From... Maybe there is a realm of the reality that is consciousness or pure consciousness and we are like in this material world as biological entities. Like maybe the aliens are like... They are like living in a dimension of reality that is more conscious they can be maybe light beings i guess is a way to put it uh oh but they're anyway and then they created us and we are like half matter huh? and we have a part of us which is consciousness and the brain is like there's a video a link at the end of this video they talk about like how about the um pineal gland and how that that is like a technology that connects us to the interdimensional realm like so human beings are connected uh, somewhere like between matter and this other realm dimension that is like more consciousness and maybe electromagnetic field uh, is what opens portals between dimensions or maybe uh, it was it was talked about in this video where there are these geomagnetic anomalies on earth there's one in south america and apparently if you live in that geomagnetic an anomaly you're mm -hmm. It's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a gland, it's called, it has a different name, it's not the pineal gland, it's another gland. And that gland, for people who live in that area, apparently is more developed. And because it's more developed, they are able to see things in the real world that most people don't see, like spirits or whatever. And so our brains, our brain is like technology created by aliens. Uh... Yeah. So they made us, and uh, you know they can control us, or they can implant thoughts into us. <sighs> I think I've talked about this elsewhere. Anyway, that's a very interesting video. 
David Icon Reptilians, Royal Family and Bush. Even Bill Tompkins said Bush Senior was a reptilian. Very interesting video. I think some people have reptilian DNA. I'm not sure if all of them can shape shift. <laughs> 